Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked, bi rabbikum. Am I not your Rabb? Allah didn't say, Alastu bi khalikikum, Alastu bi raziqikum, Alastu bi qaharikum, or so on. Allah didn't ask any other sifat. He asked about the sifat of Rabb. That Allah, that being that nourishes from stage to stage to the t- stage of perfection is all in the control and the irada and the qudrat of one Allah. Rabb. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ulama mentioned this sifat which comes. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. In the beginning Allah is talking about Rabb. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas. Allah brings at the end of the Quran. Ulama mentioned the ishara and the indication is in the beginning you should understand who is your Rabb. At the end you should understand who is your Rabb. And throughout the whole stage of your life you have, should have a connection with that Rabb. If you don't, no problem. Don't. No one's going to force you. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُوا مَا تَعْبُدُونَ إلى آخر الآية لا إكراها في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions clear is clear is evident good is clear evil is clear you choose what you want to choose there's no force in the deen whatsoever so I was saying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took this covenant from all of us he asked us about him being Rabb every single one of us we answered in one hour's bala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that let it not be a time. We bore witness. Now let there not be a time that you come on the day of judgment and you utter this statement, okay, we didn't know. Maybe I I forgot. I wasn't aware, I wasn't sure. This is where ulama bring a question, and this is where so-called intellects, they're semi-baked in intellectuals, they open up Quran and they say. What's the purpose in that? What's the benefit in that? When the person doesn't even remember and recall, then what, this is goyake. It's not even any benefit, any, any benefit. Can you remember being asked by Allah this? Well, I, I, I can't either. And I don't think anybody here can. However, ulama mentioned, ulama of tafsir mentioned this beautiful nukta, Allahu Akbar. And that is, until the day of judgment, throughout your human life, if you ever hear the name of Allah and you ever ever hear the name of your Rabb, that sound and that name will knock on the depths of your heart. And I've witnessed it personally myself. There are people who accept Islam and when they say their kalima, they are overtaken, over, they're overcome with emotion. Has anyone ever witnessed that? They overcome with emotion, they cry. You see atheists, Allahu Akbar, people that have nothing to do with the deen, they put the Qur'an in their ears and they start shedding tears. Because it's knocking on the hearts, the dead hearts of insan. He mentions, If you ever want to seek help from anyone, first ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't go to them, seek i'ana and help first from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah help me with my exams. Allah help me with this. Allah help me with my business. The first step, Allahu Akbar, the first step we have difficulty, where do we go? Where is the Muslim Ummah going when we have the first level of difficulty? The Muslim, same Muslim, Allah, Muhammad and Abdullah is going to the bank manager, which presents such a beautiful smile when you go there. And by the Qasim of Allah, when it comes to a couple of late payments, that smile becomes a frown, it becomes a threat, it becomes a red letter, then it becomes you getting kicked out on the street. Don't ever be fooled that this is all a bed of roses. It is all designed to take your money and nature your money and make you zaleel, Allahu Akbar. Why did Allah Ta'ala mention the hurmat of Sud? Why did Allah say interest is haram? It is the same thing that has called concentration within the wealth. The top 100 richest people, they say, own approximately 30% of the wealth of the world. Where is the equal distribution of wealth? Why did Allah make the institute of zakat? Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advocate that there should be equal distribution of, of means, of, of risk, of sustenance, of, of, of things amongst the masses? This is the adl and the justice of Islam. 
If you seek Nusrat and help, seek from Allah. If the Muslim Ummah were to bring this, they wouldn't go to Haram, they would not go to Batil for assistance, they would go to Allah. Allah help me with my business. If Yaqeen and Iman was strong, no matter how bad that business was, he or she would never turn to Haram because he knows Allah is my Rabb. She knows Allah is my Rabb. I cannot go to Haram to get my sustenance. It is Allah who provides. This is why Allah said, Rabb in the beginning, Rabb at the end, because this is the sifat which is most hardest.